Yo, what's up, though, man? It's T Grizzly. Check me out on the Bootleg Kev podcast. Let's get it. Bootleg Kev show. Special guest in here. My guy. It's been too long. Been too long, man. T Grizzly, my brother. What's Good going to on? See you, Good man. to see you again, bro. You've been outside. Yeah, I never went inside during the pandemic. <laughs> you've been outside, man. I've been trying. And, and listen, you've been inside running up a check. You know what I'm saying? I've been on Twitch. I've been on GTA. Dog, you got to help me understand because I just saw this clip of you asking a little kid if he was going to pick his mom or the homies and then you smoked him and then you drove off. What the fuck is this role play in GTA? Explain this thing. Yeah, so you want me to explain that situation? Yes, but let's just start off with that because... Okay, so basically, right, it was just, it was just, I could tell he was young, you feel me, but he was already deep off the edge into the streets, you know what I'm saying? And he wanted to join Grizzly Gang, you know? So I'm like, all right, bet. You know, we, I'm going to show you everything and see if this is what you really want. So I showed him everything, right? Mm -hmm. So now at this point, if we don't put him down, he got to go because he know too much. So I asked him a question. The last part of initiation, I was about to put him in Grizzly Gang. I asked him a question. I said, this your new family now. Mm -hmm. Ain't no, ain't your regular family, this, over, this trump everything once you become a part of this. You know what I'm saying? So I asked him, I'm like, bro, I'm asking you a question. Don't hesitate. You feel me? Because if you hesitate, that means you got to think about it. Mm -hmm. I need you to be sure. I'm like, so who your favorite person in your family? Like, my brother. I'm like, all right, bet. If your brother's standing right here and one of the members standing right here, you got to shoot one of them, who you going to shoot? And he hesitated, so he had to go. So you killed him? Yeah. Wow. I'm, I really need to get to the roots of this entire world. Mm -hmm. So, by the way, I'm so happy for you. That you have, because I think it's incredible that you have uh, turned your love for gaming into like a real incredible like stream of income. Mm -hmm. um, I don't understand the role playing thing. So it's a it's it's like a server. You have your own server. Yeah, I got my own server, Grizzly World RP. So in this world, this is like you have a gang. Yeah. And when you guys are in the world on the headphones and shit, y'all are like really acting. And yeah, shit. like acting like that's the real world when we on there. Right. When we on there, the real world don't exist. Like, that's the real world. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's deep. It's kind of like Dungeons and Dragons, but like on a video game. Kind of. Do you remember Dungeons and Dragons? Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. You know what? It's exactly like that, but. But funner. Yeah. What's the. Grand, Grand Theft Auto is crazy. Mm. Were you, uh, are you like kind of sad that the new GTA is coming? It means you're going to probably eventually have to retire the OG? No. Nah. Or are you going to move because, the whole thing over? Because we're going to move the whole thing over to the yeah. whole new build. That's going to wow. be better. I can't wait for it to drop. So, okay, take me to the roots of this. So, obviously, you're a fan of video gaming. You've been gaming online. At what point in time do you get introduced to having your own server, role-playing, and building this? I mean, you have like a Twitch empire. Yeah, it was, it was during COVID, bro. It was during COVID. I was on Call of Duty heavy, streaming Call of Duty. And um, somebody told me, you got to try GTA out. Because right. I'll be on Call of Duty trolling. Right. And they're like, then you, you got to try GTA out. Right. You feel me? I tried it. I'm like, no, this shit actually fun. And my numbers went up. On GTA? Yeah, because yeah. it's more entertaining. I could really like be myself on there. Yeah, yeah. Some street shit. You're running yeah. around. Yeah. Exactly. So that was like, this is a no brainer. And it just went up. Did you ever think when you're sitting in a jail cell, waiting to get out, not knowing what was on you know the other rest of the side of your life, that you'd be getting paid the amount of money you'd be getting paid to play video games and act That's crazy. out the shit you used to do. Yeah, I didn't know that existed, bro. It's so crazy, man. Yeah, it's super crazy for sure. Guys Absolutely. like yourself, T-Pain's been doing this thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. What has been your most successful month on Twitch? My most successful month? This month been very successful. Yeah, you've been going viral this month. Yeah, this month been very successful on Twitch for sure. And I ain't even been able to stream. But, but, but Not I, to be all in your pockets, but like, what's that look like? It looked crazy. Like I can show you like this month so far. I'm so in, I'm so intrigued by this Twitch. And it's world. the 12th. And Twitch got to start taking care of their creators a little better. So this is because everything been going viral. So that's this month so far. Oh my god. Yeah. That's six figures. Yeah. Can I say the amount? You can. Uh, One hundred fifteen thousand dollars. Yeah. In a month playing video games. Yeah. Why would you ever go to a club again? I don't. Mel mad at me right now. <laughs> Mel mad at me right now because um, 
I, be, I don't know. I mean, like, this is the way I look at it. You can't show nobody like me that you can make money from home because I want to be home anyway. Well, I was going to say, like, you obviously can always put out music, uh, but, like, why open yourself up to, like, unnecessary risk for, like, 20 grand to go to a club or 30 grand to go to a club when you could just chill at the crib, yeah. be safe, not worry about no bullshit, mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, just talk shit on the internet. Yeah, facts. I don't do it, though. I ain't been to a club in a minute. It's been a minute. I was gonna say, do you feel like you're a professional gamer, part time rapper now? Um, I feel like I'm a professional gamer, part time movie director, which is uh, obviously coming out with the with the project. Yeah, yeah. And um, I don't rap no more, bro. I just I just make movies now. Straight up. Yeah. You so you're just kind of it is what it is. Yeah. I'm I'm, I'm making move. I'm into the movie thing now. And is that Cause everybody rapping? It's a new rapper every day. Everybody rapping. All rap sound the same to me. So I just rather just do the movie thing. Yeah, there is a lot of rap sounding the same. Um, you know what I appreciate about the last few years is I've just noticed the Detroit for a long time felt like a really divisive place mm-hmm. when it came to just obviously sides, music, people beefing with each other. You've had your issues with people, whatever. Mm-hmm. But I feel like recently, the last like six months to a year, it feels like everyone's kind of moving in the same direction, and I feel like you are very like out of the like drama. Does that make sense? It make a lot of sense. I do it on purpose. I don't want to be involved in no drama. Are you from the east side or the west side? The west side. Okay. West side, yeah. Yeah, I went to Detroit for like a week a few months ago, and um, it was fun, man. I actually really enjoyed it. Great. F- I mean, the food was all right. I, I don't know if I went to the wrong Coney's or not, but the thing is, when you in Detroit. Getting food, not only do you know where, have to know where to go, right? but you have to know what to order. That's fair. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because so, I went- So to, it's like a thousand different conies. Right. Like each specific cony got the thing that they're the best at. Their own thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I Everyone was telling me to go to Trust. Is that what it's called? Or Truth? Truth. The Truth. Club. The strip club. Yeah, the club. I never made it over there. Yeah. I mean, you ain't miss nothing. We did eat at uh, Ace of Diamonds. Yeah, Ace of Spades. Ace of Spades, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, was, it, was, it, was, it wasn't bad. Is it Ace of, is it Ace Ace of Spades? Ace of Spades, Ace of Diamonds, it's over there somewhere. Huh? Mozzie was there, yeah. yeah. It was good diamonds time. sound familiar. What's Diamonds? It was out here. It was out here. Oh, yeah, yeah, that oh, was in LA. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, okay, but yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Name is nothing. You got crazy girls. I mean, I just want food at this point in time. Yeah. If I go to crazy girls, I'm not the type of person that's going to compete. If you, if you go to Detroit, you got to go to Pantheon and get the lamb chops. Okay, Pantheon. Yeah. We went to some terrible place. I think it was called Coliseum. Coliseum. That's the little museum looking spot. Yeah. Like so, Egyptian museum looking Well, spot. you know what it was? Was uh Yeah, the lights. That's you yeah, okay. Uh, I don't I've never been there. Never been there. Street Lord Juan sent us there. And I think he sent us there because he knew that night we were like we had nobody with Detroit with us. Mm-hmm. So he sent us to like an obvious white strip club. And I was so disappointed. I walked in and all these bitches looked like juggalos. They all Grand Theft Auto dancers. It was terrible. Yeah. And the food was fucking god off. <laughs> yeah. I've never been there before. It was it was bad. Yeah. Yeah, it was it wasn't it, man. But yeah, shout out to Detroit. I feel like um you know, for you as somebody who obviously in in my opinion kicked the door down for kind of the commer- commercialization of the new wave of Detroit hip hop. The street yeah. shit. Yeah, for sure. Um I how wouldn't do you- even go as far as saying that's an opinion. Like that's a fact. Yeah, for sure. Opinion is something that could be disputed. Yeah, I mean I think that you're you're the most successful person commercially who did street Detroit music. That's yeah. a fact, right? So like, yeah. but now the wave is just so it's um, crazy. Now them boys out there going crazy now for sure. Uh, they going crazy now. For you sure. know, obviously, uh, Sada Baby, Baby Money, uh, everybody, right? Even guys like Payroll Giovanni payroll. still doing their thing. Payroll just did some shit overseas. I was like, damn, I can't even go over there. Mm. And they was fucking with him heavy. Because of your uh, prior criminal shit, yeah, damn, yeah. Shout out to pay- shout out to all them guys though for sure. Were, were you like growing up on the west side, where it's like like, like payroll and those guys, like guys you looked up to? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Payroll. I, I looked up to some guys that were from the east side too, for sure. But payroll and them, they definitely held it down for the west. Like that was our champions for the west side for sure. Yeah, yeah. I always hear like everyone says like the difference between the two sides is like uh, the west side's a little flashier. I would say so. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, the West Side a little flashier, a little broker. East Side really don't really flash like that, but they be having a lot of money type shit. Yeah. But it's changed now, though. It's changed because the East Side getting flashy yeah. and the West Side getting dirty. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's changed. Like the East Side used to be, you know, them niggas over there dirty. Yeah. 
Now the west side looking dirty as hell and the east side looking good. Yeah. So it's been a shift. How's uh like for you, uh does it feel good to just kind of see your city prospering like that, man? I mean QC signed two people from the city. They it signed Bezel. It yeah. feel great. It feel amazing. Yeah. You know, I just wish we had a better mindset about shit, but you know, it, it feel amazing seeing it though. Yeah, what do you mean by that though? Like Detroit is very divided. Mm-hmm. It's very divided for sure. Everybody we really ain't trying to stick together. We our mindset from Detroit, like we just gonna do us and we gonna win regardless. You feel like it's getting a little better? Um, I don't know. It might be getting a little better, but people stick to their crowd and they self. That's it. Yeah. No, that's fair. I think um yeah, I mean, I don't know. When I went there, it felt like everybody was fucking with each other. It was, it was cool. Yeah, people fuck with each other, but I'm just talking about like on a deeper level, though. No, I get it. Like yeah. on a deeper level, like we really got to all just lock in and come together and just take this shit to a whole new level. That's fair. That's fair, man. Um, for you, uh, who are some of the up-and-coming artists out of the city that you're just a fan of? Um, um, shit, I don't know. I don't know. I like, I like Horse to One. Mm-hmm. I like I like Mari Red, and um, there's a few more other people, but I got them on repeat right now. Though, how's your brother doing? He doing good. In good spirits. He in great spirits. Yeah. yeah. He's he's still locked up, right? He's still locked up. We hoping he come on 2023. Okay. And I say we hoping because he got a sentence in January, and it's gonna be in a judge hand. So when he gets out, you got to put him on the Twitch shit, man. Yeah, of course. He got to be the guy who's holding down the gang while you're fucking on vacation. I'm gonna have him on that for sure. You can't hold down the Grizzly Gang online all the time by yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have like? No, I got guys on there though. Like so you my got gang, guys. Yeah, my game be holding it down for sure. Do you have like guys that like you've like? Are these guys you've met in person, or are they like people who you just know digitally? No, online? some of them I just know digitally. Some of them I met in person though. Have you met any of these? Like when you meet a guy who you've known through the video games in person, is it kind of crazy to see what they look like or who they are? Or? I ain't gonna lie. It's it been a couple people. It's been a couple people. Like damn, this nigga. Crazy. Yeah, like that's yeah. I ain't gonna say it, but any children? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got I got a son. Yeah. You have yeah. a wait, 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 wait. Yeah. <laughs> so you have a son in the game. Oh no, not in the game. Other people got kids in the game. I got a son in real life though. Is he on the game? Nah. No, no, I mean I mean any children like a part of your gang. That's what I'm saying. Like I done met some people and they've been like twelve. But and these they're, like they're some gang of the, banging this shit hard yeah, on them. Yeah, like that should be crazy. Wow, they're like you on Grizzly Gang. Whatever they really you need. ain't supposed to be playing it. Oh, like, it been eight year olds on that motherfucker before that I done met them. They be like, yeah, I'm such and such. I'm like, that's you. What the fuck? That shit is crazy. That yeah. shit is wild. Yeah. You ever have them like try to DM you, on, and then you're like, you see their profile, you're like, oh, this is what this motherfucker look like. Oh, we gotta kick him out the gang. Man, no, nah, no, nah, it ain't never been a situation like huh? that. No, nah. the only thing that surprised me like when I finally see him. Is it be real life like kids sometimes? Yeah, but yeah. that's why I, I I feel like like all these games online are just so far past my learning capabilities to be good at them. And I feel like GTA because I played I beat GTA obviously, but I've never played online. Yeah, so it's different. I, I definitely feel like it, it it ain't a learning curve though. I feel like with GTA it'd be easiest because you're thing, just running around kind of. Yeah, the only thing you got to do is just don't break character. That's the only thing. That's the only rule. Don't break character. What if someone does? Then you get banned. They get exiled? You get banned because you you fucking up the experience for everybody else. What the fuck? Can I just... I could just go and watch you play, right? On Twitch, obviously. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Jesus. I love it, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a movie for sure. See, I can't play like a Fortnite or... You call, can do all that. No, no, no. I can't. I can't because it's these oh. little these little kids is too good. Yeah. I, I, I'm starting too late. Yeah. I, I don't even play Call of Duty unless it's story mode. So listen, you can play Call of Duty. You can actually get good at it. You just got to run with the right team, bro. Yeah. I sucked until I started running with the right team. Moose still suck. Yeah. Damn. That's fire. <laughs> I got a screenshot. His ass ain't getting not one kill. Whole game. So that would be me, because me, <laughs> when I play Fortnite, I yeah. kind of run around and hide yeah. and wait for the circle to get smaller, and then I'll just go find a new place to and hide. And then die. And then I'll, I'll be like top 10, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'll be like, shit, I made it yeah. to the 10, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. I can't kill nobody. I don't know how to build nothing, you know what yeah, I mean? No, nah, see, that's why I can't fuck with Fortnite, because you got to build and all that. I like Call of Duty. If I shoot at you, ain't no getting away from this shit. But there's hackers on there now. It's said band hackers on there for the longest. Yeah. They said that they're like the new uh, policy is uh, you have to have a phone number for your account so they can make sure. Sh- I don't know what, what, what that's going to do to cut it that's down. Cap, that shit ain't going to do nothing. They selling that shit, I think. Mm. 
The ha- yeah, the hacker shit. You can't really be a hacker in GTA. Yeah, they're selling the hacks, man. They're selling the hacks. How much money you got on GTA in the world? Like, I got about sixteen thousand, but I'm I'm coming up though. In uh, in your world, yeah, you're the leader of the gang. You only got sixteen bands in GTA. What's going on? Shit, it's hard. It's fucked up out there. Damn, right now. Do you just rob people? Yeah, but see, I ain't trying to rob everybody because I got to create relationships. Because people starting to people starting to fuck with me on the street shit. Mm. You know, I got like a half a brick. I need to sell that. I can't yeah. be robbing people. Just so we know, we're, we're very clear. This is in the video game. Yeah, yeah. this is in the video yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Very clear. Yeah. Um, you uh, just left uh, the barstool shit with Caleb Presley. I'm a big fan of him. Me too. He's hilarious. Yeah. How was your experience with him? That shit was fire. That shit was fun. Mm. It was fun, bro. Was Glenny Balls eating ice cream? Yes. Mm. I asked him for some. Did he give you some? No, because they ain't have another bowl. Mm. But but both of them dope, though. I fuck with them. That shit was fun. That was, shit was funny. Was it like uh, uncomfortable? It wasn't uncomfortable. They definitely was asking me some crazy shit, though, but it wasn't uncomfortable, though. It was fun. It was literally like hilarious for real. Yeah, yeah. It was hard not to like be laughing and shit. No, I bet. Yeah. Hey, we got to stop the interview real quick to tell you about our newest partner to the podcast. Shout out to our family at Hardeen, Las Vegas, man. Listen, uh, the number one dispensary in the world. I don't give a fuck, man. Craziest dispensary with the most selection. They got so much weed in this fucking place. You go to Las Vegas, you're fucking feeling good with your homies. It's recreational. You're like, damn, I could just go into a store and buy weed. Yeah, but you just can't. Go into any store in Las Vegas to buy weed because you don't walk out with some fucking bullshit. No, you go to Hardeen, tell them I sent you, all right? Make sure you follow them online, Hardeen underscore Las Vegas. You see it down there. You see the motherfucking sweater. We represent, and by the way, can we shout out to them for sending me this? This bootleg head podcast thingy? What is this called? No, 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 it's uh, for cigars. Humidor. Humidor. Yeah, the humidor. Now, this is what's great about it. We might start doing this for our smoking guests. You know, we might have to bust open the Hardeen humidor and just get into some of these treats. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of the treaties, you know, straight from Hardeen, Las Vegas. Even, I mean, these are totally props because, you know, they're props. But with that being said, when you go to Vegas, tell them Bootleg Kev sent you, Hardeen, Las Vegas. I'm telling you, it is like going to, it's like the Bentley of dispensaries. It's so nice. The weed is the best. The selection is the best. The bud tenders are the best. And yo, make sure you shoot them a follow. Hardin underscore Las Vegas. Go to HardinLasVegas.com. And when you're in Vegas, go to Hardin, baby. All right? You already know. Let's get back to the interview. I'd be dying. Did you see the Aaron Rodgers one? I didn't see that one. Aaron Rodgers is fucking high bloodshot red eyes and he's just dying the whole fucking time. He was like inaudible. He was laughing so hard. It was so good. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta watch that one. You know, Aaron Rodgers. That's the recent one? Yeah, it was like from like the last month. Okay, I gotta right watch that. Right before the football season started. I gotta watch that. You know, Aaron Rodgers be doing ayahuasca and shit. He be fucking tripping hard, man. Yeah. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers, that's Wisconsin. Yeah, Green Bay. Yeah, yeah okay. He, he still play football right now? Yeah. I see you're not a football fan, obviously. No. Nah. No. Nah. He be high like that? He be doing like hallucinogenics. Yeah, okay. Like mushrooms and uh, ayahuasca. Yeah. Have you, you ever could... done, have you ever done any of that? No, not yet. I want to, though. You should, man. Yeah, I want to. Why wouldn't you? I definitely want to. I've heard great things about it. You're off papers, right? Yeah. Like you're a free man totally. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, eat some shrooms. Yeah. And then... Do the shroomed out episode of Twitch when you're in band. That'd be crazy. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. Man. It's going to be like Ready Player One soon when you're going to have the whole motherfucking thing where you're wearing a suit and shit. And yeah, I yeah. I don't know. You ever do the VR? No, I don't fuck with the VR. You ever watch VR porn? No. Never? Mm-mm. Not even a get. You don't, you don't own a fucking Oculus? No, I don't. VR porn fire? It's not not fire. Okay. <laughs> okay. I put it on Blueface, right? I interviewed Blueface, and uh, I just bought it. He was like, let me see the VR porn. So I, I was like, yeah, whatever. He looked it up, and he looked down. He's like, bro, my dick is white. <laughs> <laughs> so you got the Oculus here? No, 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 not here. This was like when I first bought it. Now it's okay. just at my house. Honestly, it's just at my house on the charger all the time. I never use it. I don't, so you don't watch VR porn no more? You watch it on your phone now? I, I literally watched VR porn twice, just okay. because I was like, ah, oh, let me see what it is. I'm just curious. So you just switched back over to the phone? Regularly? No, I don't watch porn. Okay. Yeah, I'm married. You know what I mean? Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, it was for experimental purposes. Gotcha. Okay. But you're like looking around and you're like, this is crazy. Yeah. Like shit. Yeah. Now, if I wasn't married, I probably would never need a woman again. Yeah. 
because I just throw on the headset, just be locked in. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wherever I want to go, I'm there. What you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That's fire. It's not bad, man. That's fire. It's, it's definitely uh, it's not bad. What what got you into wanting to do films? I like TV shows, bro. I like movies. I've always liked movies and TV shows and stuff like that. And um, I like how the directors make us feel some type of way. Mm -hmm. You know, like I. Who's your favorite director? Or whoever did Game of Thrones. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, Game of Thrones is great. Besides season eight, which was fucking atrocious. Exactly. So, but him, for example, he make you hate characters. He make you love characters. Yeah. He make you want to watch the next episode immediately. Of course. You feel what I'm saying? So that was interesting to me, and I wanted to kind of do that as well through music. Mm, I like that. And then you know what else too is like, you got to really get in that bag and start writing your show to tell that Detroit story from like the snowfall perspective. Mm -hmm. Cause I know a couple of homies that sold their their life to, but not even they just they're, they're they're from the streets and they've already gotten like real TV deals because all these networks are trying to do the next Snowfall. Yeah, somebody yeah. got to tell that Detroit story. That's a fact. The tap, tell them tap in. Hey, the Wire told the Baltimore side. Mm -hmm. You ever watch the Wire? I did. That's my favorite show ever. I did. Oh, you're trying to take Fifty Spot on Stars, so it's exclusive, stars. replacing Fifty Cent coming right up. You don't want I that. I fuck with Fifty Cent as you should. Yeah, I fuck yeah. with Fifty Cent. Stars. I ain't gonna lie. If stars and fifty hit me up, I'm going with fifty cent. Of course, fifty's the one. I'm going fifty cent. It's not the two. Yeah, yeah facts. But stars do need to, you know, what I'm saying, fill that gap because they left a big gap when yeah. he left. Well, all his all the shows are gone. Yeah. When he facts. leaves, it's like, what's next? Right. I don't know. Back they had the whole Power game. Universe, BM, you know, obviously BMF. Yeah. So you love Game of Thrones, so you kind of wanted to apply storytelling like a TV series to mm -hmm. the music side. Mm-hmm. Is it hard to pull that off conceptually because it's hard to pull that off on a TV show? It's not hard to pull it off for me. Nah. It's not. Nice. Nah. It's easy. And um, it's hard making a regular song. I was going to say, break down like the chapters. Like somebody say, make a club banger right now. Right. Like the fuck I'm going to go in here and say? Yeah. And then it might not work. And you don't even be in the club. Exactly. But if you tell me make a chapters of the trenches. Mm-hmm. I bet. I can tell your story. Exactly. You could do that with no, not no pun intended, with no effort. Exactly. You exactly. See what I did there. Exactly. Facts. You see what I did there. Yeah. Um, how much did you hate season eight of Game of Thrones? Did you hate it as much as I did? Because it almost ruined the whole series for me. I probably hated it more than everybody. It was so disappointing. Yeah, bro. Because I ain't wanted to end like that. That ain't the end that I wanted. And then I didn't want it to end that quick. Like they rushed so much. Yeah. Facts. The fact that all I feel, of I feel like House of Dragons is rushed too, though. I only saw the first episode. I feel like it's rushed, bro. Like, y'all skipping 10 years and shit, right? Now, check this out. What if I wanted to see what happened through those 10 years? Yeah. I mean, I think that's what was great about the first seven seasons of Game of Thrones is it was so slow and methodical. Mm -hmm. And it built characters so slowly. And then season eight, all of a sudden, Daenerys is a fucking bad... She's bad. She's killing innocent people. Man. The fact that the fucking war with the White Walkers lasted... That should have been a whole season. Facts. And motherfuckers should have really died. Facts. Like how you build up th this fucking winter's coming, the whole show, and then you blow the load so fast. It should have been, they should have been, man, that shit was the worst, bro. That's a fact. And I'm going to tell you, right, House of Dragons, one episode, it's a little girl. Right? That's the one I, I saw the first one. Now look, check this out. Now yeah. one episode, she a little girl and shit like that, right? Yeah. Experiencing herself. The very next episode, she was a grown lady. It was a different character. She had three kids. Like, God damn. Jesus. Yeah, I didn't see that. I wasn't ready for another version of her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I, haven't, I, I, gotta, I, I have no yeah. opinion. I just know that Game of Thrones season eight is a fucking black eye of all t TV history. Yeah, no cap. It's one of the best shows ever, and they fucked it up. Are you, did you watch Dahmer? I didn't. I mean, it's pretty wild. Yeah. Sick fuck that guy. I got to go rewatch The Wire. You have to? Yeah. When did you watch it? How long ago? It's been like five years. So I rewatched it for the first time since like... 2010 mm -hmm. during the pandemic like the first like month of the pandemic i had was my it girl. crazy oh yeah it still okay. is fire it's even more fire like after i was like fuck mm -hmm. it's up there to me it's like that and breaking bad is my two favorite shows okay did you watch breaking bad i didn't what i didn't see breaking bad it's about a fucking teacher who sells meths yeah because he has cancer and he has to pay for his fucking shit damn do he beat the cancer well he had so he was broke his fucking house was upside down He's a fucking science teacher in high school, and he needed to make money. Mm -hmm. So his brother-in-law 
is a DEA agent mm -hmm. and takes him on a ride along. And he notices while they're raiding a house, one of his ex students sneaks out of the top roof. And he says, hmm. And he didn't snitch on him. He just ran off. He didn't say nothing, right? Mm -hmm. And then his brother in law's like, yeah, we just, uh, we just took you know, like $1.2 million worth of meth out of that house. And, and, and then the light went off. Oh, I'm a chemist. I teach chemistry. I can make meth. Mm -hmm. And he made the best shit in town. The best shit. Okay, bet. Yeah, Bro, that it's fire. crazy. That's on fire. Did he beat the cancer though? Yeah, he, yeah. I'm, listen, man, you just gotta watch it, bro. Okay, it's fire. Okay, and then good. him and the student who he saw escape, they partner up. Some gangster shit, bro. That's fire. Yeah, I gotta check it out. It's fucking ill. And then they did a spinoff called Better Call Saul. That's crazy. Better Call Saul. That was good too. Yeah, yeah. Better okay. Call Saul. Yeah. Yeah, Yellowstone is not on that level though. Relax, just chill. Yellowstone is solid, but it's like <laughs> it's like it's like surface level good. It's but like, is, it, is both of these on Netflix? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, bet. Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. But you gotta watch Breaking Bad first, then you gotta watch Better Call Saul. Okay, good. Yeah, do, yeah, and then and then don't watch Dahmer. It's disturbing. It's just like fucked up. It's like yeah. I got you. Yeah, some Milwaukee shit. I don't know what they're doing in the Midwest over there, but y'all serial killers hit different over there. Damn, that was Milwaukee. Yeah. Damn. Every city in the Midwest is super different, though, too. This is true. Very diverse, different. like, weird super area. Different. Like, a bunch of swing states. It's super different, bro. It's yeah. crazy. White people are different in Detroit. I went to a Tech 9 concert while I was there for that week. That white trash in Detroit, man, I get it now. Hmm. Like, how, how is the white trash out here? Just This is not Detroit white trash. Yeah. So when I was sitting in there, I f just the whole Eminem shit all connected. I was like, yeah. I said, look at these white people. I get it. I see it. Yeah, this yeah. Is a bunch of M&Ms if he never would have popped off in this motherfucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's white dudes with dirty fucking Jinko jeans, wife beaters, and Detroit tattoos on their neck. Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely a lot of that going around. And his fucking restaurant's terrible. Shout out to M, but his restaurant was not good. Mom's spaghetti? It was god awful. D did you get the spaghetti? Yes. I got both things. What'd I went get? there with uh, Baby Tron, and uh, we got the sandwich and the and the spaghetti just to try everything, and it was... Was, what kind of sandwich was it? Spaghetti sandwich. Spaghetti sandwich. Was it was the was this a spaghetti fire though? Oh no, it was terrible. Did it have meat? You ain't get no meatballs in it? Of course. How can spaghetti be nasty? Like, how can you fuck up spaghetti? Okay. One. Easily. It tastes like if I were to go to a white lady's house who didn't know how to cook, mm -hmm. and she said, Hey, are you hungry? We have some leftover for sp spaghetti from a few days ago. And you said yes, and then they put it in the microwave and then they fed it to you. That's what it tasted like. Yeah. But you're vegan ish. I'm vegan ish, yeah. How's that going for you? Um, it's cool. I was saying, like, because you were like, man, I'm trying to be vegan. And I, most people who are, you know, you're a big guy. Mm -hmm. Most people go vegan to try to lose weight. And I'm like, well, you're still kind of a big guy. So what, how's it going? Like, what, what was the reason? To so it's because I just wanted to eat cleaner. You know what I'm saying? That was yeah. like the most part. I just wanted to eat cleaner. And then if I lost weight, then that would have been a bonus. But I just want to eat cleaner, though. Did no. you end up eating cleaner or did you end up eating cereal and chips and shit? No, I don't eat I I I eat a lot of vegan food, but here and there I have an oxtail or Right. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So you uh dibble and dabble in the vegan lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, I dibble in it. Yeah. What's your favorite vegan fake thing? Cuz you know, they got vegan. these vegan wings that aren't wings. It's like just call them whatever they are. I can't eat that bullshit. Do you like fried the... chicken got to be fried chicken? I eat um impossible burgers or anything? Impossible impossible Whopper is fire. Mm. It's better than a real Whopper. I, I don't know about that. Have anybody here had the Impossible Whopper? Where? Burger King. Where do you think they got Whoppers? <laughs> <laughs> Moo, you had the Impossible Whopper? It tastes the same. It tastes the same. Yeah, it tastes better, though. It tastes better? It tastes more charred. More charred. Hey, I respect it. Would you rank, because uh, Burger King is, uh, as, a, as a guy who's a, a fellow guy who enjoys fast food. I want some Burger King, now. Nah. I fuck with Burger King. Those chicken fries. Yeah, I'm gonna give me Impossible Whopper. I was gonna ask you, give me all the major chains. Major chains only. Mm -hmm. Rank the top five fast food restaurants. Hey, what up, y'all? Got to stop the interview to tell you about our family at Odd Socks. That's right. Go to oddsocksofficial.com right now. Use the promo code Bootleg. That's right, Bootleg. You will save twenty percent off at checkout. Now, listen. We know that they have amazing socks. These are Sour Patch Kid socks. These are hot Cheeto socks, half baked. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, for those that like Snapple so much so that you would wear socks with Snapple's logo on them. And all my Naruto fans, they have the Naruto. But let's bust these boys out. You know, they they got the underwear, and the underwear are crazy. 
Love the draws. What do we have here? Oh, oh, we have, we have a Hey Arnold underwear. These are fucking amazing. Jesus, I'm gonna wear these. You know why I'm gonna wear those? Oh, because I have Hey Arnold socks on. You see what I did there? Yeah, that's right. We out here represent odd socks, the most comfortable socks in the world. I promise you, if you get the odd socks basics like these, these are the basics, right? Those are, uh, I mean, you're not going to get any better than that. You know what I mean? The odd socks basics are incredible, all right? So uh, that's my favorite. I'm always wearing a black or white pair of odd socks basics. But uh, don't, like, listen to me. Try them out for yourself. Go to oddsocksofficial.com. Use the promo code bootleg. Save 20% off at checkout. And... They got some new shit coming at the top of the year. Hmm. I would say go to their Instagram, at Odd Socks Official, and just look at some of the shoes that uh, the owner's wearing in some of the videos. They may or may not be having some slides coming out. I don't know. I cannot confirm nor disconfirm, but, you know, they did put them on their Instagram for a reason, like a little tidbit, little 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 crumbs to what's coming next year. You know? uh -huh. Plus, they just dropped their monster socks, which I don't have any of those here, but it is Halloween season, so go fuck with those. You already know, man. Odd Socks Official. Go fuck with them on Instagram. Go to oddsocksofficial.com and use the promo code bootleg. Save 20% off at checkout. And when you do that, you support us. You support the whole crew over here at the Bootleg Head Podcast. So let's get back to the interview. Top fast food restaurants. Chick-fil-A. It's the most consistent. Number one. The most consistent. Okay. Raising Cane's. Okay. They bread there is like no other. It's the cane sauce. Yeah. That cane sauce hits different for sure. Yeah, he waiting on me to say in and out. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> so raising canes, Chick-fil-A. I'm at a great start right now. You're two for two for sure. Um now things get hairy. Okay, okay. It's a drop off now. Whew. Shake Shack. Really? Shake Shack got fire ass burgers and chicken sandwiches. But isn't Shake Shack there's no drive throughs Not fast food, disqualified. Give me another choice. Okay. Now listen, now listen, right? And I'm going to say McDonald's because since we had McDonald's the first time yeah, to the last time, they always had the best fries. Listen, I got McDonald's at number one. You're preaching to the choir here. Okay, bet, bet. All right, it's, bet. It's, a, it's literally the greatest fast food restaurant okay. of all time. You ever, had a, you ever had a fish fillet sandwich with Mac sauce? No tartar? I've had every type of fucking hack. I don't think on you the had menu. the fish fillet with mac I sauce. Have, I have. I you have. had it. Yeah. yeah How yeah, was it? I have. It was. It was great. Beautiful. Okay. Get bet. the full slice of cheese. Okay. Bet. Yeah. Boom. 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 What's next? Burger King. Okay. Now you got the no, the, the five King, spot. King, I don't know. You putting Burger King in the five? Well, yeah. Right. I don't know. So we got the top three. Damn, I want to say KFC, but they chicken fake. Mm. But they got a fire chicken. Popeyes. 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 Some have drive throughs I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Popeyes. Del Taco. Fuck out no, of here. No, 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 no. Fifth spot. Fifth spot. Got to have a drive through Got to have a drive through Starbucks. I respect it. Starbucks. You hating on Taco Bell, though. Taco Bell, bro. I'm going to tell you, Taco Bell... Taco Bell is the type of person. Tell me what type to, of person I am. Taco Bell is the type of person to do something just because everybody else doing it. Oh, I see what you say. I love Taco Bell. Like, oh, in what world do Taco Bell sell fried chicken? They have fried chicken now. Yes, they have wings. Yeah. Yes. Wow. That don't. I never thought I'd see that in my life. See, lifetime. I like Taco Bell because it really feels like they're just taking all the homies and just getting them fucked up on fucking edibles and weed, and they're like, "Hey, what would y'all want to eat?" And then they put that on the menu. You know what, though? That fiery taco they had, though? Yeah. That motherfucker was undefeated. Like they put The Dorito one? Yeah, of course. And then they put Fritos inside of burritos and shit. Yeah. Nah. That fiery one, that was the one. I like... Yeah, I think McDonald's is a... Uh, they my, still got them? They yeah, still got them? Yeah. They got the red tacos? Yeah. I might have to go grab one of them. Yeah. Nah, for sure. I might have to grab a shell and take the Impossible Whopper meat and put it in there. Have you ever done that cross-pollinated fast food streams? Um... Like maybe you get the fucking fries from McDonald's and you go to Wendy's and get you know a Frosty. What? That might be actually crazy though. Imagine McDonald's fries inside of the Frosty from Wendy's. That's crazy. Yeah. You get the best fries and then you get the Frosty and you go, boom. That's a fact. I might have to see what's up. Yeah. Well, now we understand why vegans kind of got you running in place weight-wise. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 
I feel like um, I like I, I wish you ever had a corned beef sandwich. Of course. I feel like I, I, I couldn't use a corned beef sandwich right now too. You ever have chicken beef? No. It's that shit in a jar, and you eat it with gravy and toast. It's like breakfast. No, I ain't never had that. You have corned beef hash, obviously, with the potatoes. Yeah, I had corned beef hash. I ain't never had chicken beef though. You ever like just you know they got the can. That was kind of like one of the go-to meals. Just the canned corned beef hash. Mm. Put it in a fucking pan. Throw some eggs on top. Yeah. We bought the launch a company, and we going to have like fried chicken in a can. He got hibachi already, so it's like the hibachi. Um, wait, 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 wait. Fried chicken in a can. Yeah. You got to explain to me how that shit makes any kind of sense. That sounds like goddamn so basically, salmonella. So we going to fry the chicken, and we going to put it in a can. Uh-huh. And... um. We're going to put paper towel in there so the grease can catch. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. And um, seal that shit up. And it's going to have like a, a week expiration on it. So if it don't get bought in a week, it's over. If it don't get bought in a week, we'll eat it. You'll eat it? Yeah. yeah. Have you thought about doing a ghost kitchen thing? What's that? So if you go on like uh, Postmates, Uber Eats, you probably notice like Wiz Khalifa has his own restaurant on there. Khaled has a restaurant. Uh, Tyga has a restaurant. Uh, so it, it's essentially you would start your own restaurant and then a kitchen that isn't a real restaurant. It's just a kitchen, like a commercial kitchen. They'll fulfill your orders for you. You come up with your menu. You could call it like Grizzly Bites or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. I feel like with your with your following online, like I feel like the kids would be like, yo, fuck yeah. And you could plug that shit on Twitch all day. Oh, shit. That might be hard. No cap. Do it, man. You yeah. never did a, um, a, a weed uh, weed strain? I did in Detroit. It was exclusive in Detroit, though. I never did one out here. Yeah. But I do want to do some shit out here, though. I do want to do shit out here. I think, was we just talking about that? Who was we just talking about that? I don't know, but if, uh, if you're going to do the... voice? Oh, yeah. That would be dope. Yeah, I forgot what I was talking about. I know Backpack Boys. I was just talking about something. She's Asian. She has to know the Backpack Boys. <laughs> Rob. Rob. By the way, shout out to Gramercy. They just signed with the Backpack Boys. This is my dog. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The Runts guy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Get it together, man. Yeah. Call it Grizzly Bears. Okay. Grizzly Berries is just fire. Grizzly Berry. Ooh. Yeah. Heat. Grizzly Berries. Yeah, you got to feel Too hard. Uh, so talk about uh, the album slash film. So what is exactly the... First of all, how long did it take you to record? Because I'm sure... Are you recording at home? Are you going to the studio? Like, No, I'm going to the studio. I never have a studio in my house. Um... I'm going to the studio. It took like seven months, right? And it's basically like, because it's called Chapters of the Trenches. Right. And I'm just walking you through like everything that happened in the trenches. Not everything, but some of the stuff that happened every day. What are some of the chapters? I saw one was like robbery. You got robbery. Yeah. You got Jay Antoine, about two two guys in the trenches who coming up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got Miss Evans, about a fine-ass teacher, and these young students is trying to fuck her. Yeah. You got um, Tez and Tone, about an uncle and a nephew. Uh, Neff trying to get put on, you know. Yeah. So that they battling that. Um. Yeah. That's Shakespeare dope. classic, a little hood love story, but wow. it ends sad though. He dies. They, both, they die. Both of them end up living mm. eternally. You know what I mean? In heaven. Mm -hmm. mm. Hey, we got to stop the interview real quick. Tell you about our partners at My Bookie. That's right. Salute to the family at My Bookie. All right, it is so much action to get in on right now in sports. We got the playoffs in baseball. We got NFL action every Sunday, and NBA season is upon us. Yes, if you want to get in on the action and make some of this money with me, I'm be gambling all damn day. I might have a problem. With that being said, go to My Bookie right now. When you sign up, use the promo code bootleg, and they will match your deposit. All right, that's right. Your first deposit, when you sign up with a new account, when you use that promo code bootleg, they're going to match it. All right, that means if you put in 500 bucks, you get another 500 for free to gamble with. Yeah, all right? I'm loving uh, some of the futures, too. Uh, I love the over on wins for the Sacramento Kings and the NBA season coming up. I think they're going to have a good year. I'll also bet the over on the Phoenix Suns. They're going to have more than 52 and a half wins. What are we talking about? Plus NFL action every Sunday. Let's get this money. Go to my bookie right now. Sign up with that promo code bootleg. All right. When you do that, they're matching your first deposit off the rip. No matter how big or small, let's run that shit up. Go to my bookie right now. Use that promo code bootleg and get your first deposit matched. Free money to gamble with with my bookie. Let's get back to the interview. Uh, 
Any scamming records? I ain't got no scamming records. I ain't no scammer though. No, I, I don't even not. know how but to you make know, a scammer. But you, oh yeah, if you if you don't know about it, then why yeah. would you make a song about it? Yeah, I don't know. Matter of fact, I can try to. I can. I can. I know what's going on, so I can. I can kind of do it. Yeah. Oh, I can talk about how niggas blew all that money. All that EDD. I can talk about niggas how niggas blew all that money, and now they willing to do whatever. That PPO fucking ran out. Yeah. All that shit. Yeah. yeah, I knew so many people who were just eating during the pandemic, and I was like, I don't. I had so many people trying to convince me, like, bro, easy. I'm like, bro, ain't nothing that easy. <laughs> Anybody try to convince you some money's that easy? I'm like, you know what? Was that bait from the feds? It might have been because they're arresting everybody. Yeah, they are definitely arresting everybody. There's a uh, the song about everything's on record and people snitching. Yeah, well, you know what it is. It's like allegedly there might have been people that were paying homeless people for their IDs and their social security cards. And then getting their check sent somewhere. Yeah, that's a fact. You know. That's a fact. In theory, not the worst idea. Still a paper trail. Still a paper trail, because whose address is it going to? Exactly. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Was Miss Evans uh, inspired by a real teacher that you were trying to fuck when you were a kid? Um, no. Um, Miss Evans, that story came from my from my fiance. Okay. She, and um, in her hometown, a teacher had got like 20-something years. Where's she from? Saginaw, Michigan. Okay, Saginaw's not too far from Detroit. Right, like an hour and a yeah. half. Yeah, yeah. And um, she was like, you should make a song about that. And she gave me the idea, and I'm like, damn, you're right. That's tight. You know, and everybody can relate to it. Well, you're you're married now, though. Engaged. I feel Basically like... married, though. Okay. So you're engaged. Mm-hmm. Talk about losing P&B Rock, who was somebody who you were close with. Man, that was fucked up, bro. That was hard. I feel like you lost a genuine friend. I feel like I lost a genuine friend and this shit. And genuine friends in this business is hard to come by. Yep. You know, so that was that was tough for sure. Yeah, because I feel like you were with him the day before, maybe. Yeah. At the um, engagement party, yeah. That's why I thought you were married, because yeah. I thought that was your wedding, because it looked like you know. Yeah, no, that was that was the engagement party. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember? Uh, like, obviously, P and B was one of those guys who he recorded here all the time. He was just a solid fucking dude, man. And he was one of those guys, like you said, it was like super loyal, very like, you know, like you said, like a lot of dudes got that industry shit on them, where it's like. They gonna fuck with you because they're because because it, it makes sense for them. It benefits them at the moment. Mm-hmm. And P and B was never that guy. No facts. That's a fact. One hundred percent, man. That's a fact, bro. Uh, how did you know that your girl was the one, man? Um, I just knew it. Yeah. It's, I just knew it. You know. Was there anything particular? Was it her cooking? Was it just the way? Uh, she... it wasn't that particular because all that shit go away. Yeah. I, I hope know. the cooking doesn't go away because my wife's a hell of a cook. I hope it you know. can go away. My grandma was the best cook in the world. She can't. It fell off. Yeah. Oh shit! I had some shit not too long ago, and I was like, "Damn, Grandma, what happened?" Yeah, yeah. But everything go away. Yeah. Is it something like? Did you ever foresee yourself settling down? Um. Yeah, because I, I always wanted a functional life. I grew up so dysfunctional. Yeah. I always wanted just function, functional peace. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So yeah. Yeah, that's dope, man. Well, congratulations. Appreciate you. Yeah, bro. for sure. Um, you. on this project, any features? I got Baby Grizzly on there. Shout out to your brother. That's it. That's it. No features. Man. I love it. No features. I love it. I don't need no features, though. Yeah. Because it's like, I don't know. I don't want no features unless it makes sense. Yeah, that's fair. I would, I would like to get Alicia Keys on some shit. It's not, uh, that's pretty, I think that's realistic. Yeah. You know, I always wonder when you have a song, like First Day Out, and now everyone makes a first day out when they get out of jail. Fact, yeah. Everybody's got a first day out. If you've done jail time, you get out and you drop a song called First Day Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty crazy. Um, but your song is one of those songs that forever will get played in the club. No matter what club you go to, it's like Dreams and Nightmares is going to play. First Day Out is going to play. It is like one of those iconic records mm-hmm. that is just, it's just a staple. Yeah. Um, what's it like having one of those? You ever get tired of the song? Like, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Oh man, I thank God for that. That's a blessing, bro. Change your life. Yeah, change my life. It's a blessing. It's a blessing to have that for sure. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Feel good to have that. Yeah, because it's like I feel like at least in the last ten years, I don't know, like songs that are. I mean, because now we're going on five years that song's been out. Mm-hmm. Has it been five years? It's been it's been six years. It'll be six years in November. Yeah. There's not a lot of songs that are six years old still getting played peak hours in the club right now. Mm-hmm. And like, 
when you go, it's not like they're playing it just because you're there. It's like, no, they're going to play it anyway. I don't even remember what songs came out around that same time. Really, the only other song um, is Dreams and Nightmares. That came out in 2012, though. I know, but I mean, that's like that oh, old. Yeah, 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 or yeah. And then obviously, like, depending on where you're at, Blow the Whistle, you know, Juvenile back that ass up, you know. But yeah. also, like, if you're like, I'm talking about peak hour shit. Yeah, yeah, facts. Yeah, for sure. That's a fact. Yeah. Shout out to, uh, yeah, shout out to that record, man. It's definitely a classic. Uh, for you, man, where do you see yourself going next with the music shit? Are you focused more on like building out the the everything else? I want to fill in a gap in hip hop. Okay. Which is storytelling. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's a gap. You feel me? Not a lot of people doing that right now. Not a lot of people doing it. Kendrick I, did a great job on his new album with some some of the records on there. Yeah, definitely. definitely. You know, Kendrick always do a great job. You know, but that's a gap, bro. That that nobody's filling. You know? Especially a whole project. Yeah. Nobody's doing that. They used to do that shit back in the day. Like there was a um a Prince Paul album called uh fuck 40 Thieves. I'm fucking up the name. The whole album was like a movie. Yeah. Front to back. Yeah. But no one's doing that anymore. People aren't aren't worried about that shit cuz they want to fucking they want to catch a fucking TikTok record. They want to go viral. They want to, you know, they're not worried about like bodies Anything of work. can be a TikTok record though. Anything can be. We've seen that. Yeah, anything can be a club record. Anything can be a TikTok record. I feel like people just got to go in there and be creative, be true to themselves, and you don't know what can happen. Yeah. How, you, I, I, you go in there and try some specific shit, and it won't work. That's real. Have you felt you felt that, like, the difference when you go in and, like, try to force the record as opposed to just going to do what you want? Yeah. Hell yeah. There's no way you knew First Day Out was going to be as big as it was when you recorded it. I I had no idea, bro. Yeah. I would have been so happy to come home. I would have been like, I ain't doing nothing. I ain't fighting. Right. Nothing in here. I got to hurry and get home and drop this song because I know what it's going to do. That's beautiful, man. Hey, what up, y'all? Bootleg Kev here. Uh, we got to interrupt the interview and tell you about our family at Blue Chew. Look, if you go to bluechew.com right now, use the promo code BOOTLEG to sign up, and you will get your first month of Blue Chew for free. That's right. They're going to give you the first month of Blue Chew for free. All you got to do is pay $5 in shipping, and you're going to get delivered right to your door some great shit for your dick. Let me tell you what it is, all right? If you're dealing with erectile dysfunction, if you're dealing with any sort of stress and you just need an extra little, uh, you know, a little performance enhancer, if you will, all right, for your Johnson down there, all you got to do is go to Blue Chew uh, and use that promo code bootleg and it's coming straight to your door. The same active ingredient as Viagra, as Cialis, and then the new mint chewable. Breaking news. There is a new mint chewable. That Blue Chew has just introduced to the marketplace, and it has the same active ingredient as Levitra and Staxin. I'm going to try to tell you about this active ingredient. It's Vardenafil. Yeah, I fucked that up. But try it out. It's supposed to be a little more potent than the normal Blue Chew. Whatever you need. Regular Blue Chew, the new mint chewable, whatever it is, you're going to knock it out the fucking park, all right? Look, Barry Bonds needed a little performance enhancing when he uh, hit 73 home runs back in the day. He holds the record still. You might need a little performance enhancement in the bedroom. Your lady will thank you. Your wife will thank you. Your boyfriend will thank you. Whatever the fuck you're into, we're not judging over here at the Bootleg Head Podcast. But I am judging you if you don't go to Blue Chew right now and sign up with that promo code BOOTLEG and get a month for free. Try it out. It's literally free. All right? Let's get back to the interview. Um, anything else? Uh, obviously, uh, is the project out Friday or next Friday? This Friday. It's coming out this Friday. So by the time you watch this, it'll be out. Yeah. Go run it up. Yeah, go run it up. Chapters in the trenches, you know what I'm saying? Give us some feedback. Let us know what your favorite story is. All that good shit. What's your favorite right now off of the album? Miss Evans. Miss Evans. Mm-hmm. Nice. Miss Evans, for sure. Did she end up fucking the students and going to jail? Yeah. Damn. So she's a, so your favorite song's about a pedophile? She fucked a student, went to jail for rape, and she pregnant by his Sh- baby. Shit. She's a rapist, for sure. Yeah. Statutory rapist. A little better than just plain rapist, but still a rapist nonetheless. Yeah, definitely. Oh. Any rapist is a rapist. A hundred percent. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Uh, I, I, thank, I thank God, though, bro, because it's like, God gave me the ability to do this. Yeah. You know, so I thank God for that. I just want to plug that in there. No, nah, man, that's beautiful. Um, Before you go, obviously, you want to get into the movie shit. What, is, what are your favorite? Give me your top three movies all time. Top three movies? Yes. The Godfather series. Okay, we'll co- combine them all. Um, you ever seen Due Date? Yeah, I've seen Due Date. Yeah, Due Date with uh Robert Downey Jr. and yeah. Zach Galifianakis. Yeah, Due Date. <laughs> Indecent Proposal. Okay, not that's a very diverse three. Yeah, 
I had to give you all three. I couldn't just do all straight gangster movies. Nah, I love it. All straight funny movies. Yeah. I did a love story. Yep. Gangster shit. Funny shit. There it is. And it's probably the, the top of those categories, too. I disagree wholeheartedly about Due Date. It was okay. Due Date was funny, bro. It was funny, but it wasn't like funny. That shit was hilarious. It was funny. He drunk his father's ashes, right? No, it was funny. Choked on him. Yeah. And when he was realized he choked because he drunk the ashes, he drunk some more ashes yeah. to stop himself from choking. I don't know if I put, I don't know if I'd even put it in my top thirty funny movies. Thirty. All time. So what's your top three? Funny. I need, I need your top five funny movies. Friday. Mm-hmm. Old school. What's old school? With Will Ferrell. Okay. No, I'm throw another Will Ferrell movie in there. Step Brothers. Step Brothers. Okay. Super bad. Super bad. The Big Lebowski. The poster. That's my favorite movie ever. It's technically a comedy. It's behind you. That's my favorite movie of all time. That's funny? It is my favorite movie ever. It's funny though? Yeah, or? it's funny. It's funny okay. as fuck. Yeah. It's, the whole movie starts with these... So there's two people named Jeffrey Lebowski who live in LA. One of them is a millionaire. One of them is like a fucking loner who's broke as fuck living off of unemployment. And this, the millionaire owes somebody like $100,000. So the goons knock down the cheap dude's door, beat the shit out of him, piss on his rug... Not realizing they got the wrong Jeffrey Lebowski until it's too late. They already pissed on his rug. So the poor Jeffrey Lebowski really loved his rug because it tied the room together. So he takes the rug, he rolls it up, and he finds the rich Jeffrey Lebowski. It's this old white guy. He brings the pissed on rug to his house, gets a meeting with him and says, hey, I'd like you to cover the cost of my rug because they were looking for you, not me, man. And I love my rug. And that's it. And then it just, it's wild. From there, it goes into like, some wild shit. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. It's such a wild movie. Where can I, we, I find that movie at? Netflix, Amazon Prime. I don't know if it's okay. on Netflix, but it might be on... Um, Amazon? Yeah. I mean, I own like seven versions of it, so I just give you one. I got it on Blu-ray. I got it on fucking special edition Blu-ray. I got it on... Fuck, I bought it online. So I'm that ne- motherfucker really good. It's, to me, it's, it's, it's my favorite movie of all time. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. And then I got to give you one more comedy. Uh, let's do... Uh, shit. Comedy. I would say, yeah, I already said Friday. Uh, How High? How High was great. How High was like nostalgic for me. But I honestly think like uh, Hangover was up there, man. Because Hangover... Oh, shit. Yeah, Hangover was funny as hell. The first one. Yeah. The the next two or whatever, but the first one was pretty wild. What do you think about Bad Boys 3? It was all right. Bad Boys 2 was my favorite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bad Boys 3 was a little kind of a letdown. We waited all this fucking time just for the movie to be in. Did you like it? I think I think they did great on the graphics. I mean, yeah, but fuck the graphics. I wanted to laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Bad Boys 2 is the best one, though. Bad Boys 2 is the best one for sure. Where the little dude knocks on the door trying to take his daughter on a date, yeah. and they fucking break. That shit is iconic. Yeah, that's classic for sure. And he's wearing the Tim Hardaway heat jersey the whole fucking movie. Mm-hmm. That shit just... Back to my childhood, man. <laughs> yeah. There it is, man. Well, yeah. look, I appreciate you. Go run up the new project. Uh, there's going to be, like, obviously visuals to go along with everything, right? Everything, yeah. It's all on YouTube? Yeah. Or is it going to be dropping all at once? Or um, separately? It's- it, we already been dropping some singles. We dropped some singles prior to it coming out. And um, it's going to come out, like, every other day or some shit like that. And if people want to join your server, mm-hmm. how does that happen? Grizzlyworldrp.com. So if I wanted to get into your gang, let's say I just wanted to get in, man. Mm-hmm. I gotta make sure I don't break character, mm-hmm. and I gotta go. Do I gotta go kill somebody for you? Maybe. Yeah. You just send me on a mission. I'll make it happen. I might. I might have you rob a bank. I don't know. Gotta come in. I'm in. You. I'm in. Yeah. T Grizzly, my brother. Appreciate you, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, bro. Fire. <laughs>